All right, hey there, Earth sign. So uh, my apologies to you. There's a, a lot of uh, thunderstorm activity around here. So uh, it's and, and Mercury is still in retrograde. So um, I've had some freezing of videos today. So I apologize for that. It's been happening. It's been happening over the course of this last month. I know more like Mercury in retrograde than the thunderstorms. But anyway, so. Let's see what's going on for you. This is August 1st, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Can be vice versa. Can also be talking to a cross watcher. All right. So if this uh, if this resonates for you, take what take from this what you will. Okay. Pay attention to the titles. That's what we do here is storytelling. So if a title grabs your attention, even if it's not your sun sign, uh, it might have some. Uh, import import in your current situation. So just so you know, okay. So I'm dealing with all kinds of weirdness here. Okay. <laughs> all right. So without further ado, Earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you. These are messages that want to come through for you. August first doesn't mean it's going to happen on August first. Okay. The Fates. Woo. That's one of my favorite cards in this deck. Yang energy. Taking action. Higher power really connecting to, boy, you're being driven by, um, you're really being guided here, okay? Whatever's going on with your life, whatever's going on with your world, um, you're taking action based on your connection to the higher power, and it is, this is a destined moment. This is a fated moment, okay? So um, some things can be coming together here. This feels like uh, Clash of the Titans or something like that. For me just saw the six of swords leaving a situation that can be all right so let's see what's going on here let's see what's going on here for you all right my darlings um I keep shuffling here okay one more please yeah all right very good okay Woo. so i apologize if this video freezes up i will just let you hear the audio then if that happens but anyway two of swords really uh at a crossroads here could be blocking the fates and the higher power or could have been doing that in the past magician i like that moon seven of pentacles something that you've been waiting for is happening on this new moon today is the day we have a new moon in Leo, 1111, tw uh, twin flame number there, okay? So something you've been waiting for, you've been manifesting this and manifesting with the new moon, something you're wanting to achieve, been sowing the seeds of this thing, all right? Dealing with, uh, could be dealing with a Leo energy here, Leo Taurus. Um, I feel like you might have been on the fence, you might have been on the fence about a, about a commitment or they might have been on the fence about a commitment. Again, fire sign here. Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. So this says to me that um, somebody here has been manifesting connection. Somebody here is on the fence about this. I feel like this person would make you happy. Sun and moon. Sun, moon, stars. This person is the sun, the moon, and the stars to you. Okay, I feel like this is a good person. In the past, there might have been a, a nature of in and out of your life kind of thing. Again, I see uh, Sag energy here, Sag Leo. I see Taurus energy here. I feel like um, this person is a divine partner. That's divine feminine, Empress, Venus. Okay, uh, this person may have two suitors, a fire sign and a water sign. I feel like you're you're manifesting something. You've been really waiting, 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 waiting for something to happen. It's very passive energy here for the magician. Very passive energy. Higher, uh, hermit, Virgo energy, judgment energy, two of cups. Okay, you could be waiting on um, this person to decide. We got three of the twos here. There's this is a this is a crossroads here. This is a crossroads. You could be waiting on a fire sign or another earth sign to decide about. A, um, they've got two offers. 
All right, they've got two offers to be a wife. Somebody's got two offers to be a wife. I feel like you might be waiting for this person to answer the offers. Is it about sex? Is it about love? This offer is about love. This offer is about sex. This person is making a decision about what direction to go in for their life. You could be doing, this could be you. You could be deciding on, I want love in my life or I want sex in my life. Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, but I feel like what's happening right now, you're, one is fundamentally more about love and one is fundamentally more about sex, okay? So you could be deciding that. I feel also that there could be some kind of like, why does it have to be one or the other? Why can't I have both? All right, that's what this, um, that's what this is. Why can't I have love and sex <laughs> or love and passion or something like that? Why can't I have all of this? I want to have all of it. I want all of it. I don't just want one or the other. And I do feel like there's um, a situation here, a uh, hermit judgment, two of cups. You could be confused about a person that you're dealing with. Um, something about commitment here, about doing the right thing, or you could be confused, is this person the right person for me? Okay, so you could be between two people, uh, trying to decide between two situations. All right, you have all the tools, magician here, you have all the tools, I feel like there's some fear, all right, there's some fear here about making this decision. And so there's just this stopped, check out the fire sign reading because there was a stopped earth sign in that reading. And this is, this is like, I'm afraid, I'm afraid about making a decision. So I'm standing still. All right, the universe, the fates, and your higher power are telling you, take action. All right, the fates, and then the yang energy there, the higher power here, telling you, earth sign, it's time to move. All right, it's time to move. It's time to speak up. It's time to say something. It's time to manifest. It's time to accept also. It's, not, it's time to allow something into your life because this is really about blocking something coming in your life two of swords i feel like this person that you're kind of on the fence about would make you happy you would be happy together um they've been waiting for you to offer a commitment um i feel like now there's a decision to be made and I feel like you're on the fence, okay? I feel like you're on the fence, but I feel like it's because of fear. And I think the universe is reaching out to you saying, um, take action here, or um, you might lose your spot in line. <laughs> Somebody else is gonna come in. Somebody else is coming in to be with this person. Or it could be a water sign, could be another, it could be a fire sign, could be another earth sign, all right? I see Leo here. This person could be a Leo or they could be getting committed to a Leo earth sign. And I feel like you're standing there, magician, I've got, you know, the magic wand. I know I love this person. This is a past life soulmate, but I'm very much inside myself. I'm not saying anything. I'm waiting. I'm standing still. I'm doing this. Okay. Earth sign, this could be the person you're dealing with. You could be the one who is waiting for them to make a move. This person's waiting for you to make a move. And I feel like maybe in the past, they either have two um, suitors. Okay, I do feel like there's a Leo here. Um, they could either have two suitors, and it's up to them to make the decision, or they could be like, okay, well, the offer from you has been sex up until now, and now they're moving forward to an offer of love. Okay, there could be something like that. All right, so let's see where we go. I want to continue this reading. Um, kind of like one second before we go any further here. Um, 
Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, okay. Knight of Cups. Sag Energy, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Okay, so um, I did see this in the other readings today. So, so someone here um, is working on an offer, Ace of Pentacles, trying to get themselves to the place where they can make an offer. Same, same with this person. Same with this person. This person is being very patient. Um, this love offer is contingent on them leaving some stability behind or you leaving some stability behind. Okay, this making this offer of love. I feel like the offer of passion um, is still real. Ace of Pentacles here. But I feel like the offer of love, or this person here, this Knight of Wands, this fire energy, um, may be very focused on other things like money. I had that message today. Knight of Cups here could result, an offer of love could result in a loss of stability of some kind. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to continue this reading. Uh, Earth sign, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Link is below for you guys. Extended read. I'll see you over there.